Mankind is going back to the moon. But first, we're sending a scout party, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which NASA hopes is going to get us there faster, easier, and with more knowledge about the lunar surface than ever before. So, Kathy, we're uh, in front of the clean room for the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, also known as LRO. There's quite a few instruments on the spacecraft. What are the, the most important pieces of it? Our instrument suite is six instruments and one technology demonstrator. To get a closer look at those components, we climbed into bunny suits and headed into the clean room. First, there's Diviner. It'll be measuring lunar surface temperatures to provide key data for future manned service operations and exploration. Next, it's LOLA, or the Lunar Orbiter Laser Altimeter, which will provide models of the moon's topography. The LRO's camera will take photos of possible future landing sites. Finding near-surface water ice deposits will be the job of this device, called LEND. Using starlight, the small UV instrument lamp will see into the moon's permanently shadowed regions. And finally, there's Crater, which is carrying a human tissue equivalent plastic. The reason we're doing that is to make sure that when we send humans to the moon, that we understand the effect of cosmic radiation on the human body. All of these instruments will combine to give us a new and more detailed perspective on the same old moon. Well, essentially, you're building that roadmap for the moon. More like a GPS. That's the type of data that LRO will give, and, and we really don't have that right now. Our project will give NASA and the whole world more data and more of a map in order to determine what our, our, our definitive future is. I mean, in, in more of a broad scope, it's to enable future human exploration into our universe. So before we can go beyond the moon, we first have to get back to it. From Goddard Space Flight Center for Discovery Channel, I'm Dave Mosher. And I'm Jorge Rivas.